What's up guys, it is Maxwell here today to bring you up to date with the recent war that we had inside War World. So let's go ahead, jump right into that. But first, uh, I wanted to say very cool that so many of you appreciated the uh, whale watching video. Of course, there's going to be a bunch more live videos uh, from the whales coming. So without further ado, uh, let's jump right in. And uh, yeah, let's see. So um, I want to bring you up to date with our last two uh, random wars against Michigan Rose, as you can see, the W, and then uh, also against Systematic Chaos. Um, so let's start right off with Mythic Michigan Rose. Uh, this one ended 85-75, but unfortunately I cannot show you guys any replays from this war, because as you can see they were all wiped. This war, of course, ended before the most recent maintenance break that... Um, thankfully removed the shrink trap from the game and brought us the uh, awesome spell that does absolutely nothing um yeah for this war michigan rose unfortunately had to swag two of their tunnel 11 attacks no idea why uh, but as, if you if you take a look at the map here you can imagine for yourself where they would have used them most likely and um yeah how many stars they could have picked up so we won by 10, they could have picked up maybe 5 stars realistically, had both those attacks gone perfect, so we still would have won by 5. So pretty awesome stuff. Um, shoutouts for this war, I guess we gotta give one to uh, Red5 with, with his Tunnel 10 account, he got the 4 pack here on base number 1 and 2. Um, other than that we had a relatively solid war, went for 111 versus 11 attack. Um, and uh, yeah, overall a very good performance by us. So yeah, we won against Michigan Rose. Let's jump into the uh, war that I can actually show you guys replays from. Against Systematic Chaos, this one was the one where you already saw the uh, whale watching video. And by the way, once again, guys, dolphins are whales. I put it in the comments. A lot of you guys texted me and said, that's dolphins, that's not whales on your overlay. But uh, it is... Um, it is still whales, and uh, but I can show you. Uh, let's check this out. This is the overlay that I have planned for the next uh, for the next one. So you can see we've got a big old whale in this time. So um, yeah, <laughs> maybe that's even better. But still, uh, I knew that um, it were not quote unquote really big whales, but dolphins are whales as well. Anyways, let's get into this war. So uh, whales coming away with the uh, six star victory here. So once again, very nicely played. However, there's a couple of things that I uh, am gonna have to um, uh, yeah have to tell you guys about this war because as you can see, we did not use three of our attacks. Um, yeah, Red unfortunately unable to use his second one. We had one nine that couldn't attack and um, yeah, our friends over at Systematic Chaos, they sort of gave up half-war, half mid-war, because <laughs> they had so many dip fails and stuff. They had an extra 11, I believe. No, it was even on the 11th. But uh, in the middle of the war, they put like uh, GG, that was embarrassing, into their clan description or something. So yeah, they also swagged several attacks, as you can see. But anyways, we've got a couple of pretty awesome, um, pretty awesome hits. We had... Uh, red once again with the 4-pack and then, uh, okay, it doesn't show this anymore because I hit this base 11 with 11, but uh, Chris also with the 4-pack. So uh, let's check out both of Chris's attacks actually because we can still look at those. Um, as I said, the maintenance break hit sort of mid-war, so I have zero Tunnel 9 replays for you today, guys, unfortunately, because, yeah, they were all wiped by this uh, most recent update. But we have two 10v 11s and um, two 10v 10 triples. Uh, we're gonna get to those a bit later. So, yeah, uh, Red 5 and Chris both with the fresh four packs. So, four hits for four town 11 bases. That is definitely very sexy. So, very well played, guys. Uh, overall, uh, our Knights did awesome this war. Very good performance by the Knights. And then uh, the two 10v 10s for the very small breakdowns that we are currently running uh, was also pretty good. And the 11s, yeah, a couple of struggles with the dips. I actually went for two 11 versus 11 attempts, which unfortunately did not go in. But yeah, um, a bit hectic. We, As I said, we already knew we had won the war pretty early on. And uh, so, yeah, um, not the most attention to detail that went in uh, towards the end. But anyways, um, Chris here with the Suicide Queen, of course, expecting the Lava Hound. And the Lava Hound did come out, so that was nice. And then he has uh, a stoned uh, a gobo left to take care of the rest of the space. Has already grabbed 20%. That's, of course, uh, very nice. And now it's just about getting the town hall, of course. 
the king is going to be a very helpful factor in that and yeah let's see he poisons down the loon so the loon is definitely going to die over there and now we've got a, a golem bowler rage funnel and he has the jump spell left he pretty much has all the spells for his um uh, golem bowler portion here as well so that's of course uh, yeah pretty nice if you can have all your spells pretty much for the kill squad he used one rage for funneling on the other side he used the queen which he broke into the base and yeah then having everything for um for the for the core here to take out the town hall it's definitely pretty cool uh, still one more golem and six bowlers left in the bank to pick up some more percentage points the king uh, takes down the town hall with the help of the bowler bounces and in come uh, comes the last golem with some more bowlers over at the top they also get a rage spell to wrap up the last seven percentage points for the space king is actually gonna grab himself the inferno tower as well i believe at least he's trying to but anyways uh the golem bowler kill squad over at the top did wrap up enough percent so very nice hit to chris that was the one on two and let's watch his other attack as well and um, since i uh did go for that 11 v 11 we're gonna have to do it uh like this oh that's the one we already saw great job there um <laughs> where are we replay one here we go this is the correct one okay so for this one as you can see uh, he used dragon so also showing some variety um and is uh, going to attempt to take out two air defenses here with his uh golem bowler kill squad so let's see uh here comes the hay spell the hay spell uh, did uh, set the funnel was of course meant to take out both those defenses unfortunately the archer tower uh, was left standing so uh, he just uh, dealt with that with a couple of bowler bounces the cannon over there being a bit pesky so he's going to have to spend two bowlers actually to get that archer tower out of the way but yeah the bowler is going to get the job done eventually suicide queen uh, sort of behind this golem here is just going to make her way up this flank take out uh, some buildings once again we see a lava hound in the clan castle so that uh, definitely always makes for um yeah a very good uh, suicide queen of course poison spell is going to go down there we go the bowlers get down that second air defense and with that the path is pretty much cleared for the dragons we've got another goal bowlers actually funneling at the funneling at the top so i'm um, very heavy on the funnel and sort of light on the dragons for this attack but definitely very cool as i said to see some variety here goes the pesky shrink trap of course whenever the war started i said the shrink trap was patched out of the game in war whenever the war started the bases uh, were set of course so for that reason um the shrink trap was inside all the bases and yeah he had three spells left for his dragons to take out the town hall pretty much he already has the percent so a uh, free spell on the back end sweeper and then two rage spells for his dragons is going to be more than enough they already killed the queen to take this one down he actually um, kept that rage in the back I, be I believe he swagged it right i think i watched his attack before yeah he swagged the rage spell on the 10 v 11 guys uh, how tough is the meta it's definitely not tough for chris but anyways um We've got the two 10v10 hits, and uh, those are actually both going to be by, where do we have him here? By uh, Anish. So very well done to him, our boy Anish, who currently actually resides in Germany. <laughs> so that's interesting as well. I only learned that a couple days ago. But uh, Anish uh, dropping the 10 versus 10 six pack this war. In this case, he was able to take out uh, two air defenses with um, two zaps. Was that two zaps of three? I'm not quite sure actually. But definitely dropped some uh, zap spells there in the middle of the base. Uh, some interesting trap locations as well, which were of course scouted. So he was able to uh, lure those out with just uh, one balloon. That's definitely some good value. And uh, yeah, uh, AQ is going to pop her ability last second here. King is going to be coming in on the flank, uh, I think, to funnel the dragons. Maybe. I don't know. He hasn't dropped the king yet. Uh, but let's see so archer luring away the lava hound and the balloon we've got one dragon actually doing uh, very well on funneling here on the outside of the base uh, i guess the king is going to come in a bit later to tank all these teslas no he's going to have a hound for that okay so in case you guys uh, didn't uh, realize it yet i have not watched this attack before um yeah there goes the shrink trap shrinking the lava hound so the shrink trap going off uh, very early it did actually really help him out still has not placed the king so he's uh, probably gonna come in with that for the back and air defense or something like that but we're gonna find out let's go to times two speed as the dragons are sort of slow in taking out the base yeah here comes the king king is going to deal with that back end tesla a couple of the other defenses just to yeah improve the pathing for the dragons a little bit 
and then he's got one balloon left in the back and one zap which he is actually dropping on that uh, air defense sort of a swag uh, zap spell as well so uh, yeah very nice hit to Anish for sure taking down base number nine here and we are going to jump right in for his next attack and here we go this time he is bringing a ground attack so uh, Anish going air, Anish going ground, it doesn't matter for him, he's just all about 3 starring and for this one we have uh, got a queen charge with uh, a big amount of minus 4 wall breakers so he's only gonna break the wall at one point, bounces those mortars out of the way and already has an archer down for cleanup, Snip would have been proud of him for that archer, early cleanup, he always uh, praises that uh, early cleanup. And uh, yeah, it's actually a pretty uh, good thing to do whenever you can. AQ getting the uh, first rage spell here right away as she's going to encounter the king very soon. And she has got three point defenses onto her actually as well. Luckily those point defenses are not quite maxed out so she's not taking as much heat as she would if those were maxed out. In comes a uh, giant that was meant to do some tanking. It's uh, actually not gonna, it's only gonna soak up the cannon for a little bit, so I guess negated some damage. Perfect poison spell is gonna take down the loon nice and easy. The queen gets the expo out of the way before she engages the lava hound, so that's very nice, of course. Um, takes a bit of heat uh, uh, off the queen. Queen is gonna pop the lava hound inside that rage spell. And in come the miners already, one uh, lava pup is uh, trying to kill the miners, but the wizard takes it down. The king is going to help with the funnel on this other side. Uses the last rage spell that he has for this uh, bottom inferno tower right here for the miners to be able to take that out very quickly. So that is going down. Now the miners are in the core. Dealing with the enemy queen, his queen is still doing work here. At this point he's of course hoping for the queen to swing back around and deal with the second inferno tower. But she decides the clan castle is a much nicer target for her. Now she's going to do it and uh, take out the tesla with her ability, take out the arch tower. And actually also grab the inferno tower. Still has one heal spell left which he can swag. So um, yeah, quite some swag going on inside this video, guys. We had 10v11 swag, we had 10v10 swag with that zap, although he dropped it. And we've got heal swag by Anish here as well. So killing it, he's also in the current war, so look out for some more awesome action from him coming up soon. And um, yeah, this war ending 8377. Uh, I think we could have cleared tens had we gone perfect for dips, which we actually didn't. And we also did some 11v11, which we didn't need to do since we cleared all the 10s, uh, the 11s uh, with 10s. But yeah, that's going to do it for this uh, recap slash update video on Wales. Hope you enjoyed it. I'm going to be back with the next recap or live attacking video soon. I don't quite know yet. And uh, yeah, until that time, I will see you all later. Peace out.